Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my miniature and chocolates box. Uh, a perfect little gift, um, stocking filler or thank you gift for uh, our male uh, relatives and friends. They're always the hardest to buy for. Um, I thought this was a really nice one and I think this sentiment works perfectly with it as well. Cheers from our home to yours. So again it could be given as a gift. Um, you could take out the bottom part and just put cheers um, and then inside when I take the lid off carefully it is a snug fit as most of my lids are we have a lovely little miniature bottle I've got some vodka in here um, and some of these lovely Malteser white truffles oh my goodness I've had one I still have only had one um, but they are delicious and as you can see I've just popped three in there they do like to twist a little um, but you could fit any kind of chocolate in here and um, you could use any form of miniature um, but I just think you know it is such a lovely little gift and it's actually really quite simple to make um, I have done it in centimeters um, it is slightly wider um, and slightly deeper okay so if you can see I'm just sort of butting that up and that is on the lid anyway but it is just a fraction larger um, and then inside again I've added oh that one's moved completely um, I've added the um, vodka it has got a little more space here to move about um, and again the chocolates but again I wanted to show you that I had done it in centimeters okay let's get making so for your base I'm using a piece of card that is seven and a quarter by five and a quarter or 19 by 14 centimeters. And we're gonna score all sides at one and three eighths of an inch or three and a half centimeters. So every side all the way around. And as you know, a basic, it is a basic box base. Okay, so. Fold and burnish and then we're going to um, let me just think which way I'm going to do these so I want the tabs to actually sit on the long side so I'm going to cut them this way so all four sides just the corners we're just going to cut them separate them from that long panel and cut the wedges And then the last one like so of course if you want to add stamping to the base or you wanted to add some DSP in the bottom then you can do I'm gonna pop some adhesive on these tabs here and I'm gonna just add them stick them together and I always like to just add these little mini pegs just oops just to hold it in place just to make sure that adhesive sticks where I want it to I don't know why but since I've started using it I just keep sticking my finger in it all the time <laughs> okay so that's that one made up so I'm going to leave that to one side and we'll make the lid, I think, will be the next bit because then I can leave that setting too. So for your lid, you need a piece that is six and a half by four and a half, 17 by 12, a little bit of a shim of cardstock and we're going to score all of our sides at one inch, which is two and a half centimetres. All four sides again. There we go. Move that out of the way, and then we're going to fold and burnish the lid exactly the same as we did with the base. So I'm going to cut the four corners again. And then just about there ok 
Okay. And then we're going to pop our decoration on the top before we adhere it. So I went with two sheets of DSP. I just felt that it was, it just had an, a different effect than using cardstock or just using one layer. I just thought it looked quite nice. So I went with these two. So your DSP is two and a quarter, sorry, two and a quarter by four and a quarter, six and a half by eleven and a half. And then this one is two by four or six by eleven. So I'm just going to pop that one onto that one. Make sure it's level and I've got all of my sides equal. And then this will go onto my box. So this just goes in the centre like so. And then to decorate it, I've used the fabulous um, Christmas trimmings dies. So I've used the small outline of the star here and I've also used this small star just here and I've actually already die cut those ones and popped them on some glue dots and I've done my large silver and this is the um, silver foil speciality pack that I've used and then I have some basic white here and I'm just going to stamp again from tidings and trimmings this star image here so I'm going to do one in soft succulent. Oops, nearly. And then one in evening evergreen. I don't know why this cardstock's curled the way it has. There we go. And then I'm going to put that one away and just while I've got my um, stamps and ink out I'm going to get rid of that star and just go back in with where's it gone there it is that sentiment and I'm going to stamp it in soft succulent too there we go and then I can put these inks out of the way Right, put that to one side for a second and then I just want to die cut these two stars so back in with my lovely mini start this side and then it is a bit easier so pop that one on like so I don't know why my paper's cut my card's curled it's not helping holding the die in place. And we run that one through and then just take that one off. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't want to leave. And then final soft succulent one. Oops. Okay, obviously if you wanted to add some more bling to this you can cut all of the stars out of the silver foil or you could um, colour them in you could do anything with them really right so let's get all that out of the way move that There's my, oh it did move wobbled slightly so I'm then going to grab dimensionals and pop a couple on these two stars here and on my silver foil one and then I'm going to try and find the best <laughs> the best side of this one to see so I'm going to pop that one just like so and then the silver one will go just overlap slightly into the side but I don't want it to stick over the edge too much so that one can go there and then my evening evergreen 
one can go here and I'm just going to tuck it under that one slightly like so and then as I say I have a couple of these just oops put one there and one just there and then that one's to go on the sentiment that I have here so I'm just going to trim that down like so and then back it I'm just going to use some of my snail for that one seal even and just layer it on there and you know I do mine just by hand Get that out of the way so that's that done just pop this star on there and then I actually used a mixture of one dimensional and a glue dot here and then pop this one just here okay take the pegs off my base and now add them to my lid I can make this up and then this is drying just while I do that insert for the chocolates so that one on there that one on there going on there, I wondered why it was fighting me, it's caught up on the card and the last one just there, leave that to dry, oh crumbs, <laughs> I've just realised I used this to cut my um, backing for my sentiment and it was actually the piece I needed for the insert, oh my goodness, right let me just grab some more soft succulent what a silly fool i am honestly so for your insert for your chocolates <laughs> you will need a piece that is one and a quarter in length uh, sorry in width oh dear if i had brains i'd be dangerous one and a quarter by nine and three eighths so one two nine and three eighths and that would be three and a half by 25 <laughs> oh crumbs that's hilarious what am i like okay so you need to score this on the long side at one and a half two and three quarters four five and a half six and three quarters and eight and in centimetres that will be four, seven point two, ten point five, fourteen point five, seventeen point eight and twenty one point one. I do apologise and then it's not a concertina as such what you're going to do is you're going to fold that one up there and basically you're creating um, the little steps if you like for where your chocolates are going to sit so you're just doing this and then we're, obviously we need to glue these together oops so a little bit on that one and a little bit on that one squeeze them together and I'm actually going to use my bone folder instead of a peg just a to give that a good crease and B to just encourage that adhesive to stick and work. Okay, and I'm just going to fold it back this way just to give those other a little crease. Right, bring our base in, pop our little. Now, if you want to adhere this to the base, you can do. Obviously, you just need to run 
adhesive across the bottom here. Pop him in and press him down. Pop your bottle in and then your chocolates. Now I do have to give these an extra little twist just to because they're just so crazy. I mean they're really pretty but they're not <laughs> not uh, paper crafter friendly. And that one sits in there and then pegs off the lid and putting it on the correct way. Oh, I forgot one little thing. So, using your heart punch, I can't do it now. Um, I did punch little thumb notches out of the sides, but I forgot to do that on this bit. So, just make sure that I'm not catching any of the um, tabs. There we go. Right, come on now, behave. Thank you very much. There we go. And there you have it. There is your miniature and chocolate box. Thank you for joining me. See you all again very soon.